uh, British tennis player Naomi Brody knows Emma well. She was texting her good luck messages during the last week. And uh, Naomi's here. Thank you very much. You've had a tiny bit of sleep, haven't you, after watching <laughs> the game? more than when I was last here when I'd had none. <laughs> OK, well, uh, it's nice to know you're well rested. Um, what do you reckon? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. I, um, I knew I was coming in here really early, so but I had to stay up to watch it. How could I not? And wow, I was worried it was going to be anticlimactic for, yeah. the, for the both of them because they both just played the most amazing tennis throughout the two weeks, three weeks for Emma, of course, she had qualifying as well. Um, but it lived up to its name, it lived up to the bill and what a match. And it was even in the first few moments, you started watching, you thought, OK, here we go, we're in for a treat here. Because they were both at a level that you cannot believe they're 18 and 19 years mm. old. Um, in the moments just before the match started, when we were watching Emma in that she was very kind of quiet and centred, wasn't she? What do you think was going through her mind at that point? You know her. I don't know. The thing with Emma is she thinks so differently to so many of us. She's got this um, incredible deep level of self-belief. Mm. So in moments that, you know, most of us mere mortals would be very nervous <laughs> um, and thinking negatively about a situation, she thinks very practically about it. She likes to do her own um, research the nights before her matches where a lot of people maybe leave that to their coaches or they have someone on their team who does that for them. She likes to do that herself and really research um, what she wants to do and the tactics for a game. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure she was just she, she she speaks a lot about staying in the moment and taking it one point at a time. So I'm sure she was just thinking about which tactics she wanted to implement. It's interesting you talk about her her focus and because after Wimbledon there were some people who said, oh you know and maybe didn't use these words, but effectively that you know it all got too much for her. She bottled it, whatever. Wow. I mean, if you're going to answer your critics. <laughs> I know. Some way to do it, isn't it? It really is. And and I love that after everything that did happen at Wimbledon, she didn't go and take ages out from the sport. She got right back on it. She went out to the States pretty quickly. She took a little bit of time off. She went to Sil Silverstone. She's a massive Formula One fan. Yeah. Um, but then she went straight back out to America. One of the girls she actually beat early on in this tournament, she lost to in the first tournament out in America. But again, she kept playing. She dropped down to one of the lower levels, which I said it was a good job she did because she's probably not going to play at that level ever again now. So... <laughs> At least she's had that experience at some point in her life. Um, so she just got right back in there, dug her heels in, worked really hard and was just improving week by week. She's, she's come on leaps and bounds already just, just since Wimbledon. How is she going to manage, how is she going to handle all of this extra attention and with it, of course, comes extra pressure? How is she going to react to this, do you think? Um, I think she said she has a fantastic team around her. She said, I'm ready for whatever comes at me. I think she's expecting... A barrage of attention and, and um, a lot of new opportunities maybe. Um, I'm interested to see what schedule she's going to do next, what, what tournament she's going to next play. Indian Wells was postponed from March. Um, that's, that's coming up in October, so I would assume that's where we'll see her next. She, she has such poise. She's so just charming, isn't she? Um, just, I mean, what is it about her? Why is she so good? I mean, what does she do differently if, if indeed she does something differently to other players? Um, I think she moves incredibly well. So she makes she makes her opponents play an extra shot every single point, one more than they would maybe normally expect to. I think her mental toughness, both she and her opponent that she played in the final, have shown incredible mental maturity throughout the whole tournament. They've done better in that aspect of things that you would expect from the top players that are currently on tour. They they kind of outdid them in the mental side of things. Um, and she's so quick up to those short balls in the court, so if her opponent does drop it short, um, she's so clinical on them. She gets up to them really quickly, takes her opponent's time away and, and hits winners off them, doesn't allow them an extra play on the ball. Mm. So what... OK, to, um, this might be a bit technical. I don't know whether I'm <laughs> asking a daft question here, but how does she do that, that thing where she anticipates? That, you know, she, she gets to the ball quicker than other people do. How does she do that? I don't know if that's something that you can practice or if it's just something that is a talent of hers maybe that she was born with um it, it's that whole nature versus nurture argument isn't it maybe she she really worked on that a lot when she was younger maybe it was an aspect her dad's very involved in her tennis maybe it was an aspect that her dad decided was really important and was maybe missing somewhat on the tour in some people's games maybe they really worked on that when she was younger i don't know but it, but it's seriously impressive and I mean, you, you obviously know her and, you know, we only can see what we see. And as I say, to, to me, she seems so poised. Um, what, what is she like she's as lovely. a human being? 
She's one of those annoying, I keep saying it, she's one of those annoying people that's really good at everything that she does. Oh, no. I know. And she's gorgeous as well. Like, no. um, it's even worse. Very intelligent. I think she could, you can see that. She comes across super eloquent after her matches. Um, real hard worker. Really works hard. You know, she'll spend hours and hours on a tennis court. There's, it's no surprise. It, you know, maybe a surprise how quickly she's done it, but I think a lot of people expected that she would get to the top of the game. Whether she was going to be a Grand Slam champion or not, you just don't know. But I think a lot of people expected she'd get there just because of how hard she works. She's worked hard for years and years. Oh, it's just, we could talk about it all day. I think we're going to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, Naomi, great um, to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, thanks so much for coming yeah. here. Um, shall we uh, round up the rest of the sport? Uh, there is more yeah. tennis to talk about as well, isn't there? Absolutely.